Um, but this is a really similar state of, of mind. So if you have a shape, let's say it's just even a rectangle and you want to put it in your document, I'll fill that with blue and I could use a brush. That's one way to add texture to it. So B for brush and here is black and now I'm painting this chain texture on here. That's one way to get texture on there. If you wanted something more subtle, which you might, here you can lower the opacity. Looks pretty sweet actually. So that's one way you could do it, a texture on something. There are a bunch of these brushes. Have a nice evening. See you soon. Um, there are some different brushes that are kind of textural like this snowflake. But if you want it to look really gritty, you could do a search for rusty metal. So here if I do rusty metal, and now I find some large rusty metal. This one has a watermark on it, so I'm going to use that one because it doesn't have a watermark on it, and control click, I'll copy it. You could even do it this way. If I bring it into Photoshop, I'm going to deselect, I'm going to just paste that, command V, and lower the opacity. Opacity here is at 100, now it's lowered to 48, so it's kind of like some kind of crazy looking texture on there, on the blue background. It's pretty intense, more, less. If you wanted to do that to some type, you can turn your brush into an eraser. So here's what I mean, okay? So I'm going to hide this and hide, add a new layer and hide this one. Okay, so here we're starting again with just a white background. I'm going to just fill this with white. Click these little chips, turns it to black and white, and X turns the white to the front, and here now it's white. So if I wanted to put that on um, a, 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 a texture on type in Photoshop, here I'll type some type. And I'll make it be on its own layer, and I'll make it be gray, because that's going to be flexible. I'm making it gray because gray is going to be easy to change to something darker or something lighter. It's a good idea to try and use middle tone things if you're trying to create textures. Uh, this is going to have to work. Okay, so there's my text. This is a text layer and I want it to be paint. This is editable text, so I'm going to duplicate the editable text layer, and then with the one that's showing, the top one, I'm going to tell this to no longer be editable text, but to be now paint. So see where it says fun here? That means it's now filled. I can't change the word fun. This is the original. And if I go to my eraser tool, an eraser is a brush, and I choose the chain or the anything, there's the chain, I could hypothetically erase, stop that, erase from the text to give it a texture, or paint right on it to give it a texture. I'm erasing. The background is white. Now the background is rust. Now the background is that crazy blue. So you're looking at intersections of things. So here's the background at white again. And here I'll command A to select the background and I'll fill it with a color just so you can see how it would overlay on a color. Here's some not too horrible pink. The text is here. It's this one. It says fun copy. It's black or gray, I mean. If I wanted it blacker, command L, levels. Right, that has all been recorded for your your future reference. Any PDF document, yes. How did you expand it? Did you... Uh, with the with the text layer selected, okay. that's it now. Uh -huh. I did layer rasterize oh, okay. type because it's Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's like expanding. You're right. Okay, so if I wanted to make this a PDF, 
Same goes for Illustrator. I'm going to export this, File, Export. And here I can choose a Export As. And none of these are PDF. So I have to do File, Save As, Save As. Okay. And it is confusing which things are in export and which things are in save as but this is supposed to be a PDF and there I remembered how to read okay so this is now my compress me compress me and I'll just put it on my desktop uh, I don't really want to keep the layers, so I'll check that off. Okay, I don't want layers, and I'll do save. And it's telling me that I'm gonna, I can override my existing settings. I know that. And here is the box again. This is the same one that you'll find in Illustrator. Here you can change some of these settings, such as the down sampling here. This is the same things that we looked at last time. Here you'll want to lower this if you want this to be a small image to send me. And you could lower this to about 150. That would be fair. That would be totally fine. So down sample down to 100. I'm not going to convert any of the colors. But those are really that's really the main thing is this compression. And this look for those down sampling options. So that's going to save it as a PDF. And that is the end of that for tonight. So I'm going to stop recording.